Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again and just a few days out from early access for Remnant 2, we finally have the reveal trailer for the Hunter archetype and I cannot wait. This is one of the most anticipated archetypes in the game, in my opinion, judging from comments on my posts and everything like that. So let's check out the trailer together. I'll give my thoughts and talk about why this is one of the potentially best archetypes that we're going to see in the game. Archetypes in Remnant 2 come with their own set of unique tools designed for defeating the biggest and baddest enemies that the apocalypse has ever seen. This is Tragic from Gunfire Games, introducing the final starting archetype, the Hunter. Oh, I'm excited Over about this classic. one. The Hunter focuses on long-range, precision-based gameplay. They easily identify targets and eliminate them. Often before the battle even begins. This is going to be a high DPS character for sure. Making every hit count and capitalizing on each opportunity, no matter how small the window. I wonder if like a Hunter gunslinger would work. Is the prime perk, dead to rights. Scoring range weak spots while a hunter skill is active extends its duration even beyond its initial values. In addition to the yeah, that could be really good. The hunter also has a unique ability called marking. When marked, enemies can be seen through walls. Ooh, and that's super useful. Critical hits from the entire team. Everyone eats when the hunter's on the prowl. That's awesome. Their first skill, Hunter's Mark, is a tried and true fan favorite. The hunter instantly reveals and marks all enemies in a wide range. While active, every enemy is automatically marked for the entire team. No one hides from the hunter. Their second skill, that's massive. Hunter's focus, is a more calculating technique. While aiming down sights, their target will become automatically marked. If they remain focused without shooting, they gain huge bonuses to accuracy, damage, and okay. The buff remains active so long as the hunter remains aiming. This one's personal. Their third skill, Hunter Shroud, makes the hunter a nearly untouchable killing machine. Oh, that's really good for a combo of those two they abilities. Instantly slip into the shadows, making it easier to avoid damage while moving. Their next attack, Drop Shroud, marks enemies within close range and grants a strong range and melee damage buff. If that's the hunter huge. doesn't attack for a short duration, they instantly reshroud. Now you see me. Now you're dead. <laughs> Rounding that's pretty clever. Is the archetype trait, long shot. It increases the effective range of all firearms. Oh, that could be super useful. And everything in between. Was that a bow? Oh, that's a laser. Oh my god. Rewarding precision based gameplay will love the hunter. Their range is unmatched and their damage legend. Okay, very cool, very cool. I liked all of that. Uh let's see. Let's go back a little bit and I'll talk about some of the weapons. First and foremost, some of the combinations that we're going to see in this game are going to be really, really good. Uh, it looks like you could do something like a Hunter Gunslinger for really maximizing your weapon damage with a couple of your different abilities. You also could go with something like a Hunter Challenger to go like invisible and then kind of lean into a more melee base build, like maybe a Challenger Hunter. Um, those sound like it could be very good, but the combinations are, are Pretty much endless. You could do all around support, not only with the, the healer, uh, with the hunter and their scan, but also the medic as well. So there's a lot of options for sure to go with. But uh, this archetype, I think, is going to be one that is going to be the most picked, if I had to guess, just because of the high damage potential. It's familiar to players of Remnant 1 from the Ashes, and it just seems like it's going to be the perfect arch archetype to play this game, whether you're solo or in a group, and the easiest to kind of level up as you're playing, especially if you enjoy range builds. But the bonus to long shot is really nice because you could throw that on with like a shotgun. So imagine uh, plus 600 bonus range to a shotgun, right? And now you can use the chunkiness of a shotgun, but just move it back quite a bit. So the, the extended range is going to be very handy. I did like also that they did show off some, some new weapons. It looked like in this game, which I, I don't think, I don't know if we've seen before. We got LMGs. We get a bow that's confirmed. That's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing how that performs. I think, 
Unfortunately, sometimes bows can be hit or miss in games where they can be either too strong or too weak feeling, but I'll be very curious to see how that plays out. I would love to play kind of like a, a archer build and have it be really effective. I feel like that would be awesome. This weapon is the one I'm most excited about of all the weapons that we've seen so far. It looks like it's going to be, uh, if you play Destiny, it's going to be a trace rifle, essentially. And that's very exciting. I love the variety of stuff that we've seen so far. And uh, knowing that we have some weapons that we weren't really expecting is going to be a good thing. I can't wait to get hands on with a bunch of different ones and try them out for myself. Overall, this is all very, very cool. I'm excited. Every little bit of new information we've seen from Remnant 2 has built that excitement level for me personally. It was a game that I originally went into kind of cautiously optimistic on how excited I was going to be, but now my excitement's through the roof. I'm ready for the early access. Uh, I'm going to be playing the three days early so I hope you guys join me on that journey because I'll be posting a lot of content with this game. This is kind of perfect timing for me personally. We do have Diablo 4 Season 1 coming up, but outside of that, there's really not a lot going on with like Destiny and some other games that I play. So it is a perfect chance for me to enjoy this game in a way that I wasn't really anticipating so I'm, I'm really excited and i can't wait to get hands on let me know you guys thoughts in the comments down below is this going to be the number one archetype for you starting off the game or are you going to kind of wait and see which one kind of fits your play style i'm going to base it based off of what my teammates are playing first when I first join in, when I'm launching into the co-op and what they are running is going to kind of dictate what I play because I feel like I'm going to play all of the different archetypes over the course of time. I don't really have a preference. I probably will lean a little bit towards the handler if I can. But other than that, I'm, I'm just excited about everything that I've seen so far. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your excitement level on Remnant 2 as it stands right now. My name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have loads more Remnant 2 content for you guys going forward. I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you all later.